Our story begins here in Paris in 1829. And it begins with the deaths of two small girls. No sooner had they breathed their last than a band of anatomists came to seize their corpses. For the anatomists who took them, they were marvels of nature, enigmas. They brought the remains here to the Muséum d'Histoire Naturelle, and then they cut them up. Except they didn't cut up two corpses, they cut up one. Rita and Christina Parodi were the daughters of Sardinian peasants. Obscure in life, they were famous in death, and France's scientific elite turned out for the show. The girls were beautiful, and they were strange. Individually profoundly deformed, together they were symmetrical, proportionate, and utterly conjoined. One of the anatomists who attended the dissection was Etienne Geoffroy Saint Hilaire. In 1829, Etienne Geoffroy Saint Hilaire was professor of comparative anatomy here at the Paris Museum. One of the most mercurial intellects of his time, everything he wrote has a touch of genius and of the absurd. It is in his hands that teratology, literally the study of monsters, first becomes a science. And Geoffroy, he becomes the presiding genius of deformity. Geoffroy was entranced by Rita and Christina. To him they spoke of unknown forces in the womb. But had those forces split two girls out of one, or forged one girl from two? All that remains of Rita and Christina can be found here at the Gallery of Comparative Anatomy. Looking at this plaster cast of the girls, it is easy to see why they fascinated Geoffroy. Distinct from the shoulders up, their torsos gradually melt into each other. They died when they were only eight months old. <laughs> 